Okay, I'm going to demonstrate making sugar cane juice. Now, the first time I made sugar cane juice, I did not peel the outside, and the outside fiber was very, very tough, so this time I peeled it. Now, the street vendors in Asia cut these into strips and run them through an auger type juicer. I'm going to see what kind of juice I can get with the Norwalk juicer. So the first thing I'm going to do is feed this through very slowly. Now keep this covered. Okay, peeled, it goes through very easily. Now the rest of it, I didn't peel it. Okay, now without peeling it, it's going to very, very, with much difficulty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pry out the cane. And the next time I juice, I'm going to peel it. And for now, let's just push the rest of this cloth through. Alright, let's see what this pulp looks like. Lots of fiber. And it looks like pretty dry fiber. So what I'm going to do is take the fiber out of the feed tube first and the cutter. set that aside and clean that later. The cutter, do not take the cutter off if you don't have gloves on. If you don't have if gloves, use a cloth. I always use gloves because nobody's hands are ever, cl ever clean enough. So I'll clean that cutter later. So for now, let's take a look at this pulp. A lot wetter than last time, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water to extract that sugar sugar cane essence out. Fold it in the cloth. Oh, we have to put the feed tube back on or the machine won't work. I forgot about that micro switch. So definitely peel the sugar cane. If you don't peel it, it makes the juicer work very, very hard. And look at that nice green, rich sugar cane juice. Okay. Let's catch those drippings. And Give it the old taste test. Not as sugary and not as sweet as refined sugar, but definitely sweet and very, very tasty. I hope you found that useful.